What's happening guys, derelict coronavirus here. I thought I'd do a director's commentary of the Chewy series, starting with episode 1, Cranking and Pranking. Uh, this episode is basically about uh, members of the RB server just playing D&D and prank calling. Uh, it's not a script I'm particularly huge on, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, I don't like the fact that it's all in one location. It opens with Kirk, Laser and best girl playing D, D with jazz entering the server just you know after having a broad session and uh one of the gags there is that you know Clarkland is a crazy mad individual and his character as well in real life so and then he asks jazz you know will we be doing cyoa tonight and then jazz goes upstairs to find re liquor and meow meow doing prank calls and I believe the first person they prank call on this is Max Johnson, who I voice myself. I couldn't imagine Max ever wanting to associate with anyone in the server again. It was kind of like a little bit of a fuck you to Max as well for bailing on Arby Bull. And then we have Re doing his best Mike Tyson impersonation to take the piss out of Max Johnson's lisp. And obviously everyone is enjoying that as they watch it. And then I believe the next one is Meow Meow doing a prank call to Power Gaming U, who was nice enough to supply lines for the episode. He, um, the thing about Meow Meow's appearance in this is that he didn't necessarily join in too many game nights, or we didn't necessarily have an appearance for him, other than the characters he played in oneself. So I just, you know, dressed him up as uh, David Hopper from oneself and just worked off that. And because Meow Meow is usually a pretty positive and enthusiastic character and an optimist, I decided just to put that in the, the, his dialogue, And you know? Actually, in fact, I'm pretty sure I gave him more morbid lines to do, and he just changed them and did them anyway. And typically, I'm not a huge fan of when people change lines when I give them to him, but it worked in context for his character, so, you know, they stayed in, you know? And of course, then you have the character of Risa, you know, that's not how you prank call, because... To a degree, everyone in that in the scene is a troll, with the exception of Meow Meow. So obviously you have Nicker who calls our favorite character, Captain Desi, and uh, poses as a reach tech or a bungee technician with the the idea of it's a bungee plumbing service, I think, which I thought was pretty funny. I think this entire exchange is pretty funny on this phone call. Beaminator, as always, doing a great job. Uh playing you know captain desi people have gone on record and say you know beam sounds more like desi than desi himself beam is you know such a hard working voice actor to work with and with the exception of i think max johnson and captain desi everyone in this voice is themselves so best girl plays best girl kirk plays kirk jazz plays jazz liquor plays liquor re play, plays re you know plays himself you know and then you know they prank call Desi, and after the prank call with Desi, I think he like threatened to get his dad after him. Which, for anyone who isn't unfamiliar with all the trolling attempts that's happened in the Arabi server, there was a fictitious family created around Desi. With I believe the father was called General Dima, the sister was called Lieutenant Millie, his brother was Commander Decca, and you can kind of see the trend there. It's all like military ranks with some kind of bizarre name, but of course we all know that Desi came from Decimator. So, um, really, really great voice actress that came in for Millie. I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but her information is in the description of the first video, I believe. And we had the great Steve Downs coming in to voice General Dima, who initially I had, um, is it Roger Stone? Oh, I can't remember the name, but the voice actor for, um, the main character from Red Dead Redemption 2. I was gonna get for this because he was doing a Q&A in Dublin at the time and he was doing like a message stand and stuff and uh, I was gonna get him to come in on it uh, But because of scheduling and stuff I wasn't able to go up there and get it often so I decided Steve Downs would be great because he had recently actually announced his cameo and I actually got his lines from him shortly after he opened the cameo altogether so Although this video came out a couple of months after Steve Downs opened his cameo this was we were I, I requested those lines from him shortly after he opened it. And uh, it's kind of a continuity break between things like Civil Discord where you see Desi not 
wearing the same armor, but this, those are the actual permutations he wears in Reach. Surprisingly enough, he doesn't actually use the Reach or the Recon permutations. So, yeah, it's it, it's it's an okay episode. Um, I like the way that it cuts with the editing, with cuts with the music and all that. But other than that, I'm not insanely fond of this episode. I think I could have done much better with it. But I appreciate anybody who came in to help out with it. Um, I forgot to mention good old Vandal coming in here to play Commander Decca. And the good thing is, right, there's four members of the family. There's Decca, Millie, Desi, and Dima. And because, you know, I can only have four controllers in at a time, it's perfect. And I was using all three variants of the recon helmet, and Desi doesn't wear recon. So it, everything kind of fitted neatly, you know. And then he kind of mentions the... Uh, <laughs> the whacked soundtrack but uh, that's the commentary for Chewie's one cranking and pranking I've been derelict country and I hope to talk to you soon thanks